is complete. Dragon is in auto idle. Confirmation that stage two locks load is complete. Dragon and Falcon 9 fully fueled. Gas closeout has started. Expect loud venting. There's the gas closeout call that we expected. Additionally, we will be in auto idle. This puts the rocket in a state the flight computers understand before it takes over, making sure the transition to final countdown is smooth. Coming up at T minus one minute, we'll hear that Dragon is in countdown. Its computer will switch to countdown mode. We'll also hear that the flight termination system on Falcon 9 is armed. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon's in terminal count. Dragon's flight computer in countdown and configured for launch and the flight termination system now armed less than a minute until liftoff today. Dragon, this flight termination Go system. For Happy you heard it, Crew 7 getting the go for launch, just 30, 30 seconds, seconds away for an on-time launch. At the time of liftoff today, the space station will be flying 260 miles over southeastern Iraq. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine full power. And lift off. Go Falcon. Go Dragon. Go Crew 7. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined alpha. for the International Space Station. Stage one That's propulsion 1 is nominal. Million Good calls from the propulsion officers here. Propulsion's nominal. 7 million pounds of thrust on Falcon 9, taking Crew 7 to the International Space Station, now traveling almost 300 miles per hour. Nominal power and telemetry. We are just about Stage T plus 45 down. seconds into the seventh rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. And right now the vehicle is throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. There's the call out that Crew 7 is now moving faster than the speed of sound. Stage one throttle up. Confirmation, we have moved through max Q and are throttling back up. Copy, one Bravo. Heard that call from Jasmine on Crew 7, as well as confirmation from the ground. The call out for one Bravo means we are in the second and final abort mode for the first MVAC stage, chill continuing is to get good performance. We've got in, uh, engine chill on the second stage MVAC engine. We will then be looking for MECO or main engine cutoff where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages separating. Then the, not, the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. We are now coming up on two minutes into the flight, the spacecraft traveling over 2,000 miles per hour. Really incredible nighttime views of Falcon 9 and Crew 7 on your screen right now. So as Leah just mentioned, we are keeping an eye on a couple of critical flight milestones coming up back to back Stage here. One, Those down. are gonna be Miko. So main engine cutoff now that we're throttling down stage one, followed by stage separation and second stage ignition. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. So there you heard and saw Miko stage sep, and hopefully you heard Jasmine call out for the two alpha abort mode just before second stage ignition. And of course, this is the second stage powering Dragon on its flight, now traveling almost 4,000 miles per hour 
over three minutes since launch. The second stage will continue to power the spacecraft and our first look at the crew inside. We'll be standing by for SECO. That's the next major milestone for this second stage engine that comes shortly before nine minutes into the flight. So we've still got some time on this engine. So right now, while Crew-7 makes its way to orbit, our first stage booster is making its way back to land. So you may hear the call outs here on the net shortly that we are in the middle of our boost back burn. Right now, stage Dragon one is coasting. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Good call outs there that Dragon is on the right track. And confirmation from Commander Jasmine McBelly. Continuing to see good performance on this lone Merlin vacuum engine on the stage. Also, as we've heard, nominal trajectory. That's the guidance navigation and control officer here at SpaceX stating that we are on the correct path. Dragon's pointed in the right direction. The second stage continues firing until, like we mentioned, second stage engine cutoff at about eight minutes and 50, five zero seconds into the flight. Right now, we are four minutes and 30 seconds since our on-time liftoff, now traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. This single Merlin vacuum engine can provide over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space, doing its job to take our crew to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. More good news from Mission Control. Acquisition of signal, Marina. So with that Bermuda call out, we actually know that the ground station transmitting this flight data back to us is coming from Bermuda. The crew is currently pulling a little more than one G as the second stage engine continues to propel their flight. Continuing to hear good calls to the crew, now five minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, traveling at 6,400 miles per hour. Again, we will continue to see the second stage fire for about three more minutes. Shortly after second stage engine cutoff, we will see it separate Dragon from Dragon, which will continue its journey. Now at this point in the flight, we are just about 15 seconds away from stage one entry burn start. At this point, the center engine on Falcon 9 will be lit for just about 10 seconds to help us slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. That's not the only thing helping us on re-entry though. The first stage sees high drag on re-entry, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time the landing burn begins, which you just had great views of on the left-hand side of your screen. Florida Space Coast beginning to come into view in the background. All while Crew 7, of course, on the right hand side of your stream, screen, lit up by that MVAC engine, continues on its way to orbit. Dragon we are now six, coming up on. Nominal. Continuing to get good calls as we reach almost seven minutes into the flight. Crew traveling at 9,400 miles per hour. Again, we still have about one minute, 45 seconds left with the second stage propelling the crew. And of course, we are also expecting that landing burn start from Falcon 9 any second now. Brave views. Stage two, FTS has saved. Great news there that stage one has successfully landed back at landing zone one in Florida. And stage two continues to propel Dragon and our crew seven crew members 
We now are coming up on Seco, second stage engine cutoff. Again, looking at that about eight minutes and 50 seconds into the flight. Everything continues as planned today, now traveling over 13,000 miles per hour. Again, we're looking for eventually a good orbital insertion at which we'll be traveling. Good calls here at Mission Control in Hawthorne. And we are standing by for second stage engine cutoff. Copy, Shannon. Heard that call for Shannon. That is the call out for Shannon Ireland, the final abort zone. MVAC shut down. There's audio confirmation and you can see on your screen that we have had successful state second engine cutoff one of our MVAC engine. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Dragon. And good news there that Crew 7. Nominal orbital insertion. Dragon SpaceX. Awesome space to hear. Disarmed. That's the first look at the crew, now in microgravity, confirmation of a good Earth orbit insertion. We are now coming up on 10 minutes into the flight. Of course, we saw second stage engine cutoff, and you're actually getting a look at their zero-G indicator there. Uh, we'll stand by for them to tell us a little bit more about that shortly, but we are also standing by for second stage separation from Dragon. High position, a signal in Finland. So as Leah mentioned right now, Dragon and Stage 2 are still attached. Great views of that zero-G indicator there. And what we're doing right now is basically letting any residual dynamics of the vehicle settle out prior to separation. We are expecting that separation event in probably about 90 seconds. Crew looks like they're having a great time up in space, too. And as we stand by for that separation, shortly thereafter, we'll be looking for the nose cone to begin deploying. Uh, that command will be sent, and we'll see it open shortly after. We'll need the nose cone to open to expose those forward bulkhead thrusters, as well as the docking mechanism with which they will use to uh, link up with the International Space Station. After their ride, it's almost 30 hours long. Again, we had liftoff right on time today at 3.27 a.m. Eastern time. The crew making a smooth journey into orbit. It's now been 11 minutes, 20 seconds since that liftoff. We had confirmation of good orbital insertion, and we are standing by for a second stage separation okay. from Dragon. Great views of mission control here in Hawthorne, California. And the SpaceX team standing in the background, standing by for Dragon separation. Of course, you also have continued telemetry readouts from Dragon and Stage 2 in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Crew 7, on behalf of the Falcon time. team, I'd like to welcome you to orbit, and we hope you enjoyed the ride on Falcon 9. Space travel is difficult, even though you make it look easy, so thank you for trusting us to get you up there. It's not a bad way to spend a day in the office. Stand by for words from the launch director. Hello, Crew 7. This is launch director here on Countdown. On behalf of the entire SpaceX launch and recovery team, I'm honored to welcome Dragon's first ever all international crew to orbit. Shisleva Puti, Gotor, Itera Shai. Godspeed, Crew 7. Cheers. Dragon 
SpaceX, uh, thanks for the ride. It was awesome. On behalf of Andy, Satoshi, Toshi, and I, we'd like to thank the multitude of people who've led us to this unique moment. We may have four crew members on board from four different nations, Denmark, Japan.